Hey everybody, it's Blah Blah Peas, and welcome back to some more Kingdom Hearts Final Mix. And in the last episode, we explored around Hollow Bastion and made it all the way up to the Great Crest. Now, we don't have much more to do. We have one more section, similar to the last section, that isn't going to take too long, but you still got to do it. And we've got an important battle coming up soon. Very soon. So soon, in fact, we've only got a little bit of backtracking to go through this one little area now that we're in here. And then we're there. It's almost time. Things are about to get really real. Now, hopefully I don't embarrassingly die to Heartless anymore. Because last time I did have one little hiccup. And speaking of hiccups, I've actually got him right now, so bear with me in this episode. Please. Alright, let's see what this is. Thundara ring. Okay, we already got a Thundaga ring on Goofy, though, so it's whatever. Seriously, my random lucky strike drops have been so much better than the items I'm getting in the actual game. It's so weird. Oh, max AP increase. Hello. I wonder what I got that I can uh, turn on now. Oh, come on. I thought I was done here. I'm about to die, actually. If I get hit by one of these guys, I'll... Yep, I'm dead. I already knew it. Like, I called it as it was about to happen. Uh man. That's what I get. Like, I should have just healed. I'm, I'm too reckless and greedy. I'm like, hey, no. I can do it before and it's fine. But no, I really can't. Like, I knew for a fact that not healing would have been a dumb decision. But I decided not to heal anyway. And on the bright side, everybody got max healed. You don't come in with the same health and magic that you came in with. You actually fully heal. But uh, the death was kind of worth it, actually. Can't be too upset with my death. Uh, Don't quote me on that and put it on my tombstone one day. Thank you, and I'd appreciate it. Now, high tower. Back over here. Oh, man, I keep forgetting about all these chests in the air. It's so weird. Like, they want you to be paying attention and use gravity on it, I guess, or... You're supposed to figure out that that's what you're supposed to do. And it's supposed to be somewhat tricky to figure out, but it's really not. I don't know why they got all those chests in the air. They could have just had him on the ground. I mean, it's not like you can open it without all the Heartless dead anyway. Ah, uh, that's kind of weird. Anyway, gravity. What's in this one? Uh, so many gummy pieces, too. That's the weirdest part. And let's activate this. And that'll lower this platform. Now, instead of going back around right away, I'm going to do this. I found this by complete accident, wondering, hey, can I actually get to that platform under there? I had no idea there was actually a random item in here. And in the royal crown, just to compare... Raises max MP, but reduces strength. So, let's not replace it with an item. Well, everything we have does. Oh, wait, no? Uh, man, the fact that it reduces strength is kind of a buzzkill, but you know what? Even though he's not with us right now, he's gonna be. So let's do... Uh, Fire and Dark is pretty good. Let's go ahead and max out Donald's magic, just cuz. That's definitely useful for Sora for a very specific fight in the game. It's one specific fight that I'm going to equip that on uh, Sora for, and that's it. I'm never going to use that at any other part in the game for myself. And because Donald entirely relies on magic anyway, I might as well just give it to him. But now, I need to pay attention to where I'm at. Alright, Great Crest, cool. Actually, wait a minute. 
I'm going backwards. For some reason, I thought I was on the other side. Little confusion there, but yeah. Great item, definitely worth getting. And it's so weird that I found that by accident my first time whenever I was just going through. I was just like, oh shoot. How'd I miss this? Or no, we're chopping them too. How'd I miss that? Oh, I'm gonna, wait. All right, I'm already past the thing, Never mind. I, I was like, I'm about to cut so I don't have to show you guys me going across the platform again, but I'm already here, so it's no big deal. Problem is, though, I forgot to activate this, which would have lowered the other platform. But on the bright side, I was able to get the item without worrying about it. I mean, it doesn't really matter. You could do it on either side. As long as one of the platforms is lowered, that's all you gotta worry about. So it makes really no difference. You gotta backtrack around anyway. So that's fine. Now we lower that. But let's say we did lower this the first time and then we went around, we would have had to jump down into that hole before we hit the crystal on the other side. So that's the only thing we did was we did it backwards, but it really didn't matter at all. Really didn't matter. All right, so high step, high step. I was trying to activate that before these guys showed up and I failed. Come on, come at me, bro. All right, you first. Cause you actually came at me. Come on, ah, you guys suck. I hate these guys so much. They backpedal, they make me swing and miss. Oh boy. No, uh-uh, okay. We good, we Gucci, let's go. Cool. All right, we're all good. Now activate this one, lowers that one back up, which allows us to come up here. Pretty sure this is 100% optional. Uh, let's get this first, nope. I was hopeful. Oh man, this is reminding me of the last tournament that we had to do at the uh, Olympus Coliseum. Yeah, if you thought the Hercules one was the last one, <laughs> no. Oh, it's no big deal. It's just another ten. In what? You're gonna fight Hades, and it's gonna be another nine matches with Hades being the last one. <laughs> nine matches. You guys are funny, hypothetical people that I'm making talk in my head. A mega elixir, definitely worth coming over here. Activate this one. All right. So um, it just rotated that. Which, if you remember, there was a platform that came outside. We basically just rotated the direction that it would bring us to. So we'll be back for that at another point. But for now, let's just make our way forward. Because we're about to get to the juicy, juicy stuff. I'm just taking these guys out for the sake of taking these guys out you don't have to you can just go through the next door that is our quote-unquote final destination how in the world oh I think that's the platform that you go to with that new uh, layout that we just did that's probably it all right castle chapel So, I see the path has emerged at last. Yes, the keyhole to the darkness. Unlock it, and the Heartless will overrun this world. What do I care? The darkness holds no power over me. Rather, I will use its power to rule all worlds. Such confidence. Oh. Ah, oh, impossible. The princesses of heart are all here. It must be her. Without her heart, 
She will never be able to release her power. The King's fools are here. I'll deal with them myself. You stay here and guard the princesses. You heard her. Let's go. I'm afraid you're too late. Any moment now, the final keyhole will be unsealed. This world will be plunged into darkness. It is unstoppable. We'll stop it. After coming this far, there's no way we're gonna let that happen. You poor, simple fools. You think you can defeat me? Me, the mistress of all evil! Yeah, I think we can. So, let's just hop up here. Give her a couple whacks. I like how I'm hitting the platform, because I'm locked onto it, even though I'm clearly hitting her and doing no damage. It's kind of funny. But anyway, uh, no you guys don't. Excuse y'all! Those meteors are actually about to kill me. I don't think I've ever been killed by those in particular. I've died in this fight numerous times. I mean, I play on the hardest difficulty. I take damage. It's no shock that I lose sometimes, but... Oh, boy. Come on, guys. Come on. We're right there. She's so close to being dead. And even though that was 4,000 experience, you cannot believe that that's actually the fight. It can't be that easy. And now Donald will learn cheer. Good job. Well. Now that we have access to a party. I'm going to go get that Trinity because it's bothering me. All right. And the magical last blue Trinity in the game is. Was that a high potion? It's a big one. It's a mega elixir. Okay. I'm actually very happy I came back for that now. Meanwhile, I've got so many MP orbs that I already maxed out my MP. And Donald and Goofy have not only wasted magic, but taken hits from Heartless that I've been completely 100% avoiding. It's kind of funny if you ask me. But anyway, now we just gotta make our way around. And while I could end this episode now, I think I dragged the last two episodes out. And this one deserves to be dragged out a little longer as well. Let's not cut this one too short. And Maleficent, where you at? Do you need some help? Riku! A what? Yes, a Keyblade. But unlike yours, this Keyblade holds the power to unlock people's hearts. Allow me to demonstrate. Behold! Now, open your heart. Surrender it to the darkness. Become darkness itself! This is it! This power! <laughs> darkness! The true darkness! If you guys are new to the series, you may not be aware that on Kingdom Hearts 1, the PlayStation 2 version, there was a little, uh, not so much a problem, but an unfortunate thing, I guess. I, I don't know how you want to classify it, but basically, you could not skip cutscenes back in the day. 
So if you failed at something, you'd have to watch that entire cutscene all over again. I didn't. Okay. So I'm about to do two things. First of all, um, hold up, hold up. Where's my thorns? Ah, run. Okay, hold up. Back up. Oh, I'm still. That's why I'm about to die. Okay. Not exactly how I want it to be, but let's heal Donald and Goofy. Yes, I'm actually healing Donald and Goofy for once. So I can summon. My first summon in the entire game, because for the most part, I don't find much use in summoning the other ones. Personally, I'm sure there's some very good benefits to using them, but I just typically don't use them. That's not my style. However, Tinkerbell works differently than all the rest. All the rest do some kind of attack, whereas Tinkerbell not only doesn't take over Donald and Goofy's spot, like the summons, she heals you constantly rather than attacking. She will also never go away until you die. And if you were going to die, she basically instant heals you and then runs from the battle. So Tinkerbell is extremely worth it. And she's just here indefinitely until I really mess up. Also, I'm gonna go ahead and use Arrow. So I just take a little bit less damage. So now I'm taking less damage. I'm getting healed uh, by Tinkerbell. And now let's just do as much damage as I can. Arrow's not gonna last too long though. So I gotta be careful that it doesn't run out right when she's attacking because she will kill me if my health's too low. All right, just need Donald and Goofy to wake up a little faster. Oh boy. That one HP survival, and I do not have second chance or once more. So, that was just pure coincidence that I survived that one HP. Yeah, this could be a very tough fight. I highly recommend, uh, oh shoot, summoning Tinkerbell as soon as possible. Items might also be recommended for this fight. Because normally I, I hate using items at all. But this might be a situation where I'm like, you know what? Worth. Alright, well, I just killed Goofy by making him attack. And Donald's somehow still alive. Was he? I don't know what he's doing. Alright, here we go. Oh, there goes Goofy again. And back up, back up. Perfect. Get back in here, do some more damage. Half a bar health. I am so over level for this. This is ridiculous. Thank you, Pegasus and Hercules Cups. Oh god. Thank you, Donald came out of nowhere with that heal. Oh boy. I'm just trying to kill her. Hurry up. Come on, come on, come on. I got this, I got this. I still got Tinkerbell. Got her. Oh, and now I get second chance. Hey! She was just another puppet after all. What? The Heartless were using Maleficent from the beginning. She failed to notice the darkness in her heart eating away at her. A fitting end for such a fool. Oh, and speaking of never using summons and then finally recommending one, Fire Glow. That's actually a summon gem. And now this wall just magically disappears and forms a hallway. That's neat. Thank you, Riku, for uh, giving us a way to come back and fight you. Now, abilities. Sora, um, I want this. It can be so useful. Um. Rebel Drive, I don't even need you, do I? Nope, I don't want you at all right now. This is far more important. Keep one HP even after taking a critical hit. So basically, there are two abilities that help with your survival. There are once more and second chance. Second chance 
If you have two or more HP, you will survive with one HP, period. No matter how much HP you have, if you take a, a heavy hit, you will always go to one HP. Once more, will allow you to remain at one HP if you've been hit by a combo. Both of them combined will basically mean that you have to retaliate or be at one HP to die. So having once more will be extremely beneficial later on. We're probably not gonna get it during the main story of the game, but I'm definitely gonna have it by the time I get to the final bosses, or at least one of the final bosses, because I don't want to be over level for all of them. Um, but for now, that's gonna do it for this episode. I will see you guys in the next one. Don't forget to hit that like button if you enjoyed, subscribe if you are new and you wanna see more videos. And once again, huge shout out, huge thank you to all my patrons over on Patreon. It's because of you guys that I get to keep doing what I do, and I love you and I appreciate you. I'll see you guys next time with the end of the first trip at Hollow Bastion. See you guys then. Love you. Bye bye.